but we're going to stay on the PS2 for a while. And this is another game that I'm most likely going to beat before I finish X-Men Legend. But that's what I get for choosing an RPG as one of the first Let's Plays. But as I have said before, this particular game is based off one of my favorite shows as a kid. And to me, it still holds up to this day. The game... No, I think the game is fairly decent, especially for the type of game it is. I just wish it had more characters. But the franchise itself, aside from the first three shows, it's... The first three shows were solid, is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, I miss the days when Cartoon Network was actually good. Like, it's weird how much of a downgrade the network has gotten since the early 2010s. <laughs> as a kid, that's what I always saw video games as. Like, I never left the TV. But yeah, we're gonna do Ben 10, Protector of Earth. Because why not? I wonder if I'm going to get a copyright strike for the theme song. I really wonder. Well, I'm going to turn that on. Turn subtitles on. I'll start a new game. And even before your very eyes, you shiny, think he's fast and strong, and I can't remember the lyrics, Ben 10. So imagine the developers were like, okay, we can only we can only program so many aliens into the game. So let's come up with a reason for why Ben can't turn into every single alien immediately. It really confuses me because in the sequels, you are able to turn into 10. So it makes me wonder why in this one you only have a max of five. Oh, wait. Something's crash landed over there in the canyon. I'm going to go hack into the ranger station cameras. Maybe we can get a closer look. Don't bother. Leave this to Yeah, twelve year old is able to hack. Accelerate over there and check it out myself. It's hero time. Go mighty omnitrix power. So, Gwen, what do you have from those ranger station cameras? <laughs> I love that he just bites down on it. Yeah, I agree with that tip. I normally do that in all my games. Okay. These drones are lightly armored, but they attack in swarms. You'll need to destroy them quickly. So, I don't even have to explain it. Light attacks are square, heavy attacks are triangle, circle button special attack. And you can combine them for combos. If I wanted to, I could stay as Ben. Then with the sticks, or R2 and L2, I can switch between alien forms. And then R1, you transform. Now I'm forearms. And like in the show, your Omnitrix drains when you're transformed, but you can collect green energy to keep the charge going longer. Now here's a benefit here's another thing you need to know about this game. You can save your Omnitrix power and turn back into Ben immediately, just so you can get another switch. More faster, I should say. And if I was to lose all my health as one of my alien forms, I would switch back to Ben with full health. But if you die as Ben, then you have to start over from the last checkpoint. Yeah, yellow orbs are our XP, and every time we level up we get new combos. 
So let me. Yeah, I just did that. R1 or R3, switch back. And this is why I wanted to switch. Good job. Now clear that debris and get moving. Now we're heat blast. I remember how bewildered I was when I saw Heat Blast flying. Someone ordered toast. The fact, the fact that Ben is meant to be an idiot, he's not He's not. He's just a kid. And some of the ways he comes up with using these powers are actually pretty clever. Omnitrix points can lead and reveal hidden summer sl sumo slammer cards. Follow the trail to see where they lead. Well, didn't you just tell me where they're gonna lead? Man, it's been so long since I've seen the original series. I'm gonna have to dig deep into my nerd knowledge to remember Ben 10 facts. Now atomic power grants double damage to all attacks for a short time. Sweet. Damage boost. Too bad there's no targeting reticle. I have to target with a stick. These drones have been upgraded with a laser shot. This is my hero form. Wow. Can't wait to get more combos. Like, this game gets really fun once you get more aliens and more combos to mess around with. Oh, and the cheat codes. Obviously, I'm not going to do this for Let's Play purposes, but whenever I'm just playing this game for fun, I'm going to have the cheat codes on because I've beaten the game before, so I don't feel bad about using them. My philosophy with any game that has a cheat code is that I like to beat it my first time on normal and without any cheat codes and if I enjoy the game enough I will go back and mess around with cheat codes red DNA refills your health oh and by the way this game is co-op it should break canon that there are two Ben 10s around but you can play this game with a friend and I argue it's even more fun that way Collecting a chrono crystal boost makes the object recharge faster. Sweet. Okay. Thanks, Grandpa. Man, look how much health he took. Plus is significantly weaker than forearms. I guess that makes sense. Forearms is a beefy boy. And they're just sniping me with those lasers. Unfortunately, I can't use that ramp yet. 
And if you're a Ben 10 fan, you would immediately know who that ramp is for. I already told you guys we're going to have a max of five forms in this game. I'm not going to tell you what the other three are going to be. Part of me wonders if they limited the amount of... If they limited the amount of aliens you can turn into was because they wanted to make sure... Oh, well... Especially if you're a Ben 10 fan, now you definitely know who the other three forms are going to be. But you can only pick one combo per upgrade, so I'm just going to do four arms is Tornado Hook. If I can pull it off. There it is. As I was saying, I think they purposely limited how many aliens you could turn into just because they were the thought process was okay we can either get 10 in here and have them potentially be crappy or we can nail down five of everybody's favorite aliens and then make them really really good which i think is what they decided to go with because honestly everybody's everybody's combos in this game are awesome So I'm actually kind of glad they went with that direction because there are combos and stuff you unlock in the later games and they do have most of the alien cast, but it's definitely kind of a downgrade. But they make up for it in that there are way more puzzle aspects in those games. So it's... So it is heavily encouraged to switch your alien forms often. I did not trust Ben to make that leap. You know what? If anybody bothers to comment, I want to know everybody's favorite alien from Ben 10, the original series. I hope you like your face well done. Oh crap. I'm gonna turn back. Come on. At least you're not completely helpless when you switch back. Oh crap. Yeah, he's looking for my ass. I gotta go. Do this. Yeah. I can't remember how to dodge that though. It's the thing. See, even jumping doesn't work. Blocking does nothing either. Like, I can't remember how to dodge this. See, we're fine now. What the? I just gotta stand far back away. Okay. Except it really doesn't. See? It limits the damage, but it doesn't. All right, block, block it like it normally would. Okay, yeah, I remember these. You have to be Ben. For quick time events.
Okay, look at that. Oh, he was still punching, even though his animation should have gotten interrupted. Also, just move side to side to avoid his attack. But see, you look at that. It's so weird. There's like no effective way to dodge him except like moving back. But even moving back, he'll still hit you sometimes. It doesn't matter. You still got this. If he stops giving me those cheese shots. Aw, oh, damn it. Haha. Weak spot. This is an effective strategy here. Here we go. Fuck yeah! Sweet. A B. Probably wasn't fast enough. Yep, I needed to be faster. I forgot this game actually ranks you. Yeah, check it out. I think it's a piece of the Omnitrix. I knew there was some reason my watch wasn't working. This robot looks like it must have used your Omnitrix crystal to power itself. Now the only question is, where are the rest? Someone sent that robot knowing that Ben was weakened. We walked right into a trap. You guys cannot tell me that these scenes did not look painful. I don't care if it was a kid's cartoon. It was pretty weird. And yet pretty awesome. Now we have Accelerate. Hey, check it out. I can take my nose so fast you can't even see it. I wonder if they know who they're dealing with. Accelerate has been restored to the Omnitrix. So... I don't remember the levels being particularly long in this game. I think they're only about 15 to 20 minutes, so I think every part would just be one level. Oh yeah, this is cool. Like, they go all over the world, or I should just say the US, and each one has a photo attached to it. So we were at the Grand Canyon. Mesa Verde. Ben has recovered one crystal, but where are the other, where are the rest of the Omnitrix pieces? The Tennyson's journey to Mesa Verde to search for more clues. So, I'm gonna cut here, and in the next episode we'll go to Mesa Verde. Hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope you like this new Let's Play. I'm trying to do games that most people online don't do. Of course, I'm gonna do some of the, the more popular ones, like. I do intend on doing nearly every 3D Spider-Man game. I'm going to do the Arkham games. I'm going to do a couple Assassin's Creed, some God of War, all that kind of stuff. So for now, I just want to do the smaller titles that hold a special place in my heart. So as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.